You guys, did you hear that? Stop. The a Court of Appeals wants it removed. Well, there you go. Tonight, ballots on hold. Queen City News was there when Mecklenburg County Board of Election Workers learned the Court of Appeals ruled in favor of Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s appeal to get his name removed from the general election ballot in North Carolina. Now, the decision puts workers in a holding pattern as they wait now to be able to hear if the State Board of Elections will appeal that decision. They face the real possibility of repackaging thousands of ballots for Mecklenburg County voters and even more statewide. What a difference a few minutes can make. Wait, we just came out. Just came out. Breaking news. Yep. Breaking news. Ballots will continue to hold your ongoing absentee ballots. Okay. Uh, both mail and derivative ballots. Um, the court has also ordered that we, the People's Party line, be removed. Queen City News was at the Mecklenburg County Board of Elections when the Court of Appeals sided with Robert F. Kennedy Jr. to grant his request to be removed from the ballot in North Carolina. You guys, did you hear that? Stop. The a Court of Appeals wants it removed. The Court of Appeals wants it removed, so stop everything. Up to that point, workers were stuffing envelopes with absentee ballots in preparation to send them out today. We're here to just do the job. You know, we, we, we don't make the decisions, you know, so um, I think we were probably a little frustrated, but, you know, it's natural. They're now all in a holding pattern to see if the State Board of Elections intends to appeal that decision. If things move forward under this latest ruling, all nearly 20,000 absentee ballots that have been printed for Meck County would have to get reprinted without RFK's name. That number jumps to 2.9 million ballots statewide. We'll end up destroying this, make sure that's shredded, uh, and then we'll uh, start the new process. Election Supervisor Michael Dickerson says at the earliest, it will take 7 to 10 days to reprint, retest, and send out the new ballots. That means they'll likely miss a federal requirement that ballots get released to military overseas by September 21st. However, Kennedy's attorney argued state law allows for a delay under this circumstance. These laws were written way before email. Now it's all electronically done for the overseas and the military. I press a button and in seconds they get a copy of it. If the order stays, these election workers will get back to work packing envelopes to ensure absentee voters get their ballots as soon as possible. And hopefully they'll be able to do that with fewer paper cuts. In fact, I was using uh, tools chopsticks. And yeah, <laughs> tools and band-aids, exactly so, you know. Liquid bandage, you know, that stuff's really helpful. <laughs> we appreciate them so much. So each ballot costs about a dollar to a dollar twenty-five meaning this will cost the county roughly $20,000. We should learn more on Monday or early next week if the State Board of Elections chooses to appeal the decision, which could throw it into another legal loop.